he's trapped in a cage and mm -hmm. he's happy about it. No yes, the last person who was trapped in a cage and happy about it was, in fact, Hannibal. <laughs> <laughs> and you had to go head to head with Samuel Jackson. Was that yeah. intimidating at all? Sam was a legend before I'd even conceived of, of being an actor. Mm -hmm. He was, you know, someone I must have seen Pulp Fiction when I was 16. And he was then, and I think is now, the coolest man on the planet. Definitely. And um, I remember thinking when I saw him play Jules, and he's going, Ezekiel 25 17, <laughs> yeah. the path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the weak and the tyranny of evil men. Right. <laughs> impression with such such affection because he because he made me feel like an equal that's disappointing me because i was hoping to be a giant d oh, <laughs> not so I, much I, not so much no speaking of you're a really nice guy but you're great at playing an asshole <laughs> <laughs> do you like playing villains is it fun well this is the only villain i've played well um, you do it very well thank you man he's a complicated cat i like i like shades of gray i like playing um people who are who are complicated i guess um because in, in, in the Thor movie, he's kind of sort of damaged and vulnerable and misunderstood, and it's only in this one I get to kind of cut loose and, and go full <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. No, that's good. <laughs> There's a very fine line between a smile and a creepy-ass evil grin. Can you show me what the difference is? I guess when you smile, it just sort of is like, it's just, it's just joy coming out of you, and uh -huh. then, I don't know, so this would be like a normal smile. <laughs> And I guess uh, this is like an evil smile. <laughs> right. Very good. Because when I try to do the evil smile, do, I mean, you, do you do both? Give me the joy and then give me the evil. <laughs> this is great. An evil? I can't do evil. I just look like a pervert. Just, no. <laughs> what are you doing? I did Good, good. Okay. Three, Three two, one. Right, go on, go on. Action. <laughs> Like, that just shows you're just a, soul, a good soul. I don't know. Alright, moving on. Don't waste your time on me, you're on the ground. Miss you, miss you. I'm glad you're on the ground. I love it, man. I want to talk about your costume. You have a helmet with horns, a cape, and a magic yes. stick. Yeah. So there you are. I always have a magic stick. <laughs> now, do you think that Loki would wear that helmet in bed? Ooh. In a horny way? Ah, nailed it! Come on! Nailed it in a horny way! So good. Um, I think uh, I think it could be difficult to sort of kind of get in the way of stuff. Yeah, okay. I don't know what that means at all. <laughs> Alright, I got a little game I want to play. A few of the Avengers from the comic books didn't make it into the movie. I'm going to list some of my favorite characters, and you tell me who you would cast in their movie roles. And I should reiterate, these are actual comic book characters. Okay, ready? Yeah. All right, Ant-Man is first. He's one of the founding Avengers, a brilliant scientist who can change his size. Who would you cast? Woody Allen. Woody Allen? I would cast... <laughs> Skrillex. <There's> Skrillex. <laughs> All right. Next is the Wasp. She's tiny, she has wings, and she can shoot fireballs. Um... Chloe Moretz. Chloe Moretz, no. Adele. <laughs> Gosh. Brilliant. All right. Finally, uh, for this game, Black Panther is the first African American superhero who has super strength and speed. Uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor. Who's that? He's a friend of mine. He was in Children of Men in 2012. Awesome. We did Othello together in London on stage. On stage? He played Othello brilliantly. Okay. I chose Kanye West. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, the Avengers has a great soundtrack that features Kasabian, Bush, Scott Weiland, and the first song yeah. from Soundgarden in 15 years. Are you a rocker, bro? I totally am. You are a rocker. Yeah, yeah. What, what's um, your uh, favorite rock band? What do you listen to right now? I grew up on U2 and Radiohead, you know? I think I still think U2 are pretty amazing. Yeah? Yeah. They're a pretty good band. I'll go yeah. with that. <laughs> Iron Man's theme song is by Black Sabbath. If Loki had a theme song, what would yours be? If you could choose your own theme song. Um... Uh, Poison by The Prodigy. Okay. Yeah. I yeah, actually but... listen to that on set sometimes. Yeah to, warm, yeah, to warm yourself up? Yeah, yeah. You know that at the beginning of that thing when he's like, there's a bit of, there's a bit of vocals where 
He says a phone that rings and then just goes, wow, 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 wow. I got the poison, I got the remedy, I got the poison, the remedy. It just goes on and it's like really intense and makes you feel crazy. This is our joke. This is how good we are. We thought you'd choose I did it all for the Loki by Lynn Biscuit. That would have been nice. Yeah. That's it. Bunch of holes. A lot of classically trained actors have done superhero movies. Why yeah. do you think that is? What's what's so appealing about the superhero? I don't know. I think it's because they're like massive characters. It's like a modern day mythology. Superheroes. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, it's a huge canvas, and we can project all of our hopes and nightmares onto them. You know, the superheroes are the best of us. They're that sort of our capacity for courage and doing the right thing. And the bad guys are sort of. They're almost like Shakespearean villains in a way. They're, they're deep and complex and jealous and angry and I don't know. I think that there's, it gives you a chance to kind of chew the scenery a bit. I think. Tom, thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Thank you.